everyone. Welcome to Amazon Live. Welcome to my channel. I am Lisa Herland. I am on Instagram and TikTok and now Amazon Live. So thank you guys all for joining me today. There's a couple things I want to go over with you before I start sharing all the goodies. So you're going to see below that there is a carousel of products that I have pre-selected for you all. And once I tap them, we're going to talk about it. So don't worry, we'll go through each one each time. And when you come to shop, please shop through that link. So if you're watching this on replay, you can also shop through the link as well. But be sure that you go back and shop through the link so I can get credit. So how is everyone's day? Are you ready to get started? I have my little iPad here so I can hopefully interact with you guys a little bit easier today. Thank you for following. I appreciate that. So today we're going to discuss about some fun kitchen organizational ideas. I've shared quite a few of these on my Instagram at Lisa Herland and Lisa Herland on TikTok and Lisa Herland on YouTube. But let's get to the fun stuff. We're going to start with organizational stuff. I'm gonna walk in this way and grab my stuff. So today we're gonna to talk about these really fun organizational sandwich bags. I picked up these on Amazon. You know, the bamboo ones are really cool. And they're also, they also come in acrylic, but I fell in love with these. They're white and gold, as you can see. So these hold all of your like snack Ziploc baggies. Oh, you can't hear me? Can you be louder? One second, technical difficulty. Can you hold your Instagram channel? I have, I'm on Instagram right here. I'm on the live. They're saying they can't hear. You can't hear me? Mm -hmm. Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna fix that right now. Okay. Yay, you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yay! Alright, so <laughs> let me go through that little quick intro one more time. Sorry guys. We had mute on. Um, all right, so my name is Lisa Herland. If you follow me on Instagram, at Lisa Herland. Sorry, that's my refrigerator. We're live, so who knows what's gonna happen. Um, you can also follow me on TikTok, at Lisa Herland, and YouTube. So I have done quite a few fun organizational, like Amazon finds, and I just love Amazon and the convenience of it. So below, you're gonna see the carousel there. And we're going to go through each item. And when you shop, please click on that carousel so I get credit. And then if you're watching this on replay, which it will be saved down on my Amazon store, be sure when you shop, go back to this slide and click through that so I also get credit. I really appreciate it because the more credit, the more I get to do, the more fun things I get to share. In today's live, we're going to go over some kitchen organizational ideas. Um, we're going to go some curated kitchen items. And then I'm going to do a fun island styling and a DIY, right? I'm so excited. Okay, back to the containers. So these come in all different colors. I fell in love with the white and the gold in particular. So they're like for snacks. You have your gallon. And then quart and sandwich. Don't need to see them all. But what I love about these ones in particular, the tops come off, super easy to clean, you know, sometimes crumbs get in there, and they're magnetic. Did you hear that? So it clicks right back on. And um, you can find these in like bamboo and other colors, but I just fell in love with the gold and the white. And they just go perfectly with my design aesthetic, so hopefully you enjoy that as well. So nothing like keeping your stuff all nice and organized well, as I keep adjusting them. And 
We're going to go to our next product, which is drawer liner. So I love marble. As you can see, we have a theme going. You can buy this in a multi-pack and cut it to size for whatever your drawers are. I shared this on Instagram as well. I laid all this out in my drawers and sometimes you have to double lap it, which is fine. You can get double-sided tape so it stays and holds in place, which is great. And there you go, nice pretty drawer liners that um, don't move around and grip and hold your items. So that is also another cool feature. Sorry, I have people in the background directing me. <laughs> Tons of fun. So we have our containers, our drawer liners, which is great. Let's set these to the side. Does anyone have any questions about these items? Has anyone tried them before? Have you stored your storage containers at all like this? All right, we're well, moving on. That's my best, that's my fun find. Another great thing is this saran wrap holder. And it's also marble. So it comes already ready. It even came with some saran wrap in it which I absolutely love. And you just pull it over. And ta-da! No more messy, trying to get it off, ripping it with the whole jaggedy edge. Anyone ever have that experience, especially as you're wrapping stuff up after a party? So I love these. You can get them for the foil and for your, oh, what is the word I'm looking for? Parchment paper. So foil, parchment paper, all kinds of different cool things fit in these. So once again, adding these to your organizational items in your kitchen is another really great option. And once again, I love the marble. So it just helps, makes the drawers look really nice inside. Any questions? All right, well, let's see if we can tear this one more time. I just want to see. Honestly, I just unpacked these. I ordered these just for you. The quart containers I've had and I love them. Seamless. Great. All right. What do you guys think? I love it. I'm going to have to get one for every color now. loves a paper towel holder. So over the years, we've all had all kinds of different paper towel holders, right? We've had the kind with the handle. I've had the kind that you can mount under the countertops. Um, you know, sometimes it's like a one-off. People don't really think about it. They're like, oh, it's just, it's cute enough. It's, it's, it's black or whatever. But what I love about this is it's gold with a marble base. So it goes really pretty in my kitchen. And I'm gonna show you with the paper towel on it. It's perfectly here. Nice roll. Another great hack for these paper towel rolls is you could put garbage bags on them and put them under your sink. So that way you can just rip your garbage bags off. Super easy. So you can have, oh, Oh, there we go. You can have it that way for trash bags. You can use it for your paper towel holders. Any other ideas on how you can use this? No? <laughs> well, paper towel holder, we're going to place it here. All right. One of my next favorite pieces is this salt and pepper little holder, and it comes with the most adorable cute spoon. Honestly, I bought this for Steve because he does most of the cooking. And both of these are marble. They come with 
them on a really nice tray and you just go ahead and you can pour your salt and pepper in there and then use your spoon and just sprinkle it over your seasonings instead of reaching in and pinching, which, which you, I guess you could do and then throw it over your shoulder while you're cooking as well. But I just think it's super cute. Nice little curated piece, looks great on the counter. You can leave it out at all times, so it's always accessible. You're not reaching into cupboards and grabbing stuff. You can put your already cracked pepper in there as well. And it just, when it, once again, it's aesthetically pleasing. That's also another cute find that you can have in your kitchen. And it's super affordable. You guys check out that price. Really cute. And it has a cool spoon. Do I say that? <laughs> we have a theme here. <laughs> I'm making the crowd laugh. That's great. <laughs> it's Steve's favorite thing in the kitchen, you guys. Really I quit cooking. I quit cooking when my oldest son moved out. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I kind of quit cooking when he was here, still here, let's be mm -hmm. honest. I had three kids, two years apart. I did all the cooking for years, and I'm like, I I'm done cooking. Steve's a better cook, so now he gets fun pieces like this to cook with. So this usually sits right about here, actually. The paper towel holder, since I'm probably in the shot, goes right here. <laughs> so we're slowly adding. And then, oh, so I bought these a while ago, and I was going to share it on Instagram, but I just didn't have time. But So I pulled it out just for you guys. I've needed to replace these for quite a while now, and they are... Yes? Don't forget to follow. <laughs> Steve's saying, don't forget to follow me for more home decor humor. Hey, girl, Steve. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are not helping in the background. Okay. I'm going to do these lives alone. Um, all right, guys. So, how cute are these? So, they come like this. Nice little ceramic bottles. They come with a hand and a soap, and they actually also came with extra labels. I believe it was shampoo and conditioner, but because they are glass, I don't know if I put that in the shower. Maybe they're not glass. Maybe they're just strong plastic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> also comes with a really su super cute caddy. So you're going to fancy up your little dish area. It comes with this, so you can easily... Take this off. I actually was going to demo this, but we're going through 20 products, so I didn't know if I was going to have time, but I do talk fast, so we might run out of time. <laughs> so you can add this, add your soap, nice and clean, plus you can wash this and reuse it as a funnel for other things. So I feel like it's also multi-purpose. <laughs> and the labels on these are really cute. You can customize your own. Should I bring them closer? I'm being told to bring them closer. And the label. Oh, and the label. Sorry, guys. How about that? Cute, right? Very cute? Yes? No? <laughs> I'm so doing this next live alone. <laughs> <laughs> but they're really cute, very sturdy. And you can use these in your bathroom as well. So you don't have to just use them in your kitchen. So they can go in your bathrooms also. Once again, I like the gold and the white. We have a theme here. So if you like my style, you're gonna like more things to come. You can also customize your own labels and add them to them. But these just peel right off. You know what, let's see, let's try one. How I like to do it. I'm kind of just lean against something, so hopefully it holds. I do a lot of DIYs on Instagram and on uh, TikTok, so that's kind of my thing. I like to show it and explain it at the same time. So the best way. I just kind of eye it. And there you go. 
10 soaps already. I just have to put the soap in it. Cute. I won't do the dish one. What do you guys think? Any questions? Are you liking it so far? Is it entertaining? Is home decor fun? I love it. <laughs> Well, the whole point of this is not just to sell items, but to also entertain you and inspire you to use not only these pieces, but pieces throughout your home as well. So, like I said, this could go in the bathroom as well, not just in the kitchen, but I'm going to put mine in the kitchen because my bottles are well overdue. And once again, you can reuse this funnel also. Hi, Joy. How are you doing today? Thank you for tuning in. So, do you, is this the first live you've seen me on? Or are you a follower from Instagram, TikTok? Or did you just come across my page or all my thousands of posts that I'm actually going live? <laughs> I'd love to know in the chat. <laughs> Up next. <laughs> Up next is me. So, this is what I want to share with you guys. How cute is this kimono? So, uh, we live in Arizona, and um, in Arizona it gets hot, really hot. I think it's our, we're already over 100 degrees. But I like to wear like a little bit of casual, like a basic, and then throw a cute little kimono or something over it for a pop of color, you know, because I like to cover my arms a little, so like when you're out and about. But look how pretty this is. And I have to say, I ordered it and I just got it in and ironed it. I don't know if I should be saying that. But I love the colors. So this is like a one size only. When you hit that tab, you can see that there's gonna be multiple colors in different styles. And I have to say, it's a very nice, lightweight, sheer fabric. And I am definitely going to be rocking this all summer. And then to the second part is my dress. Also at Amazon Essential. I maybe should have delinted it for a second. <laughs> but um, this, I think it shows it in the mauve, which I think I might buy. But I love navy as an option. And it's just, it's cute. It's got a nice little sleeve here. It's cotton. And the best part is it has pockets. As you see, I'm using them. Who doesn't love a pocket? I love an extra pocket. So this also comes in multiple colors. Perfect for summer. It's a little bit of a maxi dress. I don't know if you can see my feet. <laughs> so I'm 5'3", and this is a size medium. So it fits really well. Plenty of room, totally comfortable. And then adding a little shawl dresses it up even if you want to like if you don't want to wear this during the day because it's too hot and you want to go out there you go nice little shawl moment or come on the moment like i said it comes in multiple colors i'm definitely going to be purchasing a few more of these i actually just recently purchased a bunch of these maxi dresses from amazon even before i I was invited to do the influencer program because I couldn't find anything comfortable in the store that was like lightweight and cotton and that can go and change through the seasons. So every time I wear this, I get a compliment on it. And I'm always like Amazon. And then now that the kimono, Amazon as well. So that's my outfit for the day. I hope you like it. Yes? <laughs> you guys are killing me. All right. Oh, candle. My favorite brand of candles are the Valespa candles. It's one of my favorite. And what I love about these candles, I don't have the lid, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Cause I've been burning it. I light it in the morning and when I'm in the house, I just let it burn all day and I'm home. Uh, what I love about the Valespa candles is I have a lot of allergies and Steve tends to get migraines and for whatever reason this is the one candle we can go to that is not too perfumey that um, 
doesn't bother either of our allergies and it also just has a really nice scent. I like the Makara and also the French Cade Lavender. So if you click on the little slider, you're gonna see you can hit different scents. Those are my two favorite, but um, I tried the Peppermint at Christmas. Oh, and they have a, was it a pumpkin? They got the mint too. The mint, oh yes, so many good scents. The Makara is my go-to for spring right now. It's a very clean scent. I like the size of the jar. And I'm actually saving the jars, so as they whittle down, I'm gonna try and do that little DIY where you get the wax out and then maybe repurpose this into a cute base or you could put your makeup brushes in it. So they're really, really pretty etched glass. Or you can make your own candle out of it after. But I love the Makara scent. Once again, this is the perfect size. You can get it in different scents. Just tap that button and you can try them out for yourself. They do come in smaller sizes, so if you're unsure, you can get the little one. I'm not showing that, but this is the perfect size. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, fun fact about me, when my kids were really little, I used to sell candles. <laughs> I won't say the company, but I did it for two years and I love burning candles all year round. So candle care is also super important. <laughs> candle care is also super important to me. And I found this adorable kit. It's gold, but it also comes in different colors. So you can tap that and see what different colors it is has a nice little wick trimmer. I'll explain what that's for. Candle snuffer. And this right here. And it comes on this cute little tray, which can be used for other things if you don't display it like this. So what this is good for is when your wick is bent over a little bit, you can take that and move the wick over so sometimes the wick curls and you don't want that to happen because then it curls into the candle and you can't use the candle so this helps keep it straight and then this sometimes when you're burning candles it gets that little ball on it these tend to not do that as much which means it's a high quality candle but you can go in there and trim the wick just a little bit if that happens and I like to trim the wick just a little bit when I first burn it also so works great and then put it back on the tray all cute it's just a snuffer you guys know what a snuffer is well it's really important i didn't know that until years ago i just always blew out my candles but what this does it allows you to snuff your candles so instead of blowing it and then the wick falls into the wax and you have to dig it out with this piece right here it saves you from having to do that. What is next? Oh, it's candle stuff. So I'm excited to share this with you because we're gonna demonstrate. So this is a fun item. If you're anything like me, you like to burn candles and you're always running around looking for a candle lighter or a match, this is great because it's chargeable. I picked gold, but it comes in multiple colors. So you could click right there and you can see there's multiple colors. I think there's a rose gold, pink, black. So if you don't like the gold and you want a different color, go for it. But what's nice about this, I think I turned it off. Let me get closer. Right in the camera. Nice, huh? So you can recharge this and use it over and over again. So you're not always buying like candle lighters or matches, even though they're fun. So let's light our candle. And just like that. And you can charge it and use it over and over again. And if I want to move my wick around, do that. So this is like the whole candle setup. You get the really good candle you get the nice little candle set and a charger and your candles are good to go. Perfect for spring. You can move that around if you have to, I already did that. 
And then when you're ready to blow it out, instead of blowing out your candles, you're gonna just, and you don't have to dip it into the wax. It just needs to, oh. Give it a second. Give it another second. <laughs> there we go. And it goes out. And that way your wigs stay great. So perfect candle setup. This is a great like hostess gift. So, or if you have someone who has an upcoming birthday, these candles I believe run around $36. Sometimes they're on sale. Sometimes you get a little promo on them. So whenever I do that, I stock up on these and I'm telling you they burn forever. Like I will have this lit all day. You get a little wick trimmer set, whatever color you choose, a matching electric lighter, and put in a cute little basket. That'd be a good one, huh? I should do a gift on Amazon. What do you guys think of that? Yes? Maybe. I'll think of that. I'd love to know in your comments below what you guys would like to see on my next live, because I'm just kind of sharing what I love, but I'd love to know what you would love to see, so. Great hostess gift, great birthday gift, great mommy-to-be gift, you know, she might need some relaxation and rope. So, great little setup here. Get all three, different colors, different scents, whatever you wanna choose. Any questions? If you guys are enjoying this live and it's been fun so far, please hit that follow button. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about the kimono. Like, don't forget about this. It's a really good price. Okay. Now, if burning candles is not your thing, and you but you like the ambiance of candles, which I do have a lot of LED candles, because a lot of them come with timers, which I love. And this one has a timer also. I'm gonna turn these on. Sorry, my nails. I picked the white, but these also do come in multiple colors. How pretty is that? The larger one. There we go. So you turn them on and off. <laughs> After you pull out the plastic piece from the timer, then you can turn them off. Like I said, I just bought these and I wanted to share them with you. I have these in other colors, but I really wanted the white so that I could put them on my mantle or put them around the house. And what I really love about these LED candles, turn back on, is like I said, they have a timer. So they can go two hours, four hours, six hours, or eight hours. You can also dim them. I'm making it dimmer. There you go. And you get that cute little glow. So if you set this, so say if you're at work and you come home it's at night your candles will already be on welcoming you home I don't know something about that just makes me happy <laughs> or if I'm sitting and watching TV and these are like on my mantle and they just pop on I'm like oh it's wine time <laughs> somewhere it says it's five, my candles say it's five o'clock <laughs> which means relaxation mode, right? Hopefully, or six o'clock, or whenever you get home from work and you wanna come home and relax, they already walk in the door, they're already lit, and they turn themselves off. So with burning candles, if you have little kids and you're worried about that, this is also a great option, a great hostess gift idea, birthday gift idea, great gift to treat yourself. You can put these around your tub. Be very pretty spa-like. And once again, when you click that link, you can see they come in other colors. Oh, I'm being coached. All right. So, <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, all right, so I've had these candle holders in my Amazon store for a while and I've been eyeing them and really wanting them. So I'm like, 
perfect reason to purchase this for this slide. Oh. And plus, I didn't want to like sh share something because until I saw it, and I think they're so adorable. Look at these. <laughs> How pretty is that? I only bought two though, you guys. <laughs> but that's okay because you can place these around like this. Moving decor, the story of my life. Isn't that cute? Like I said, you could put them on a timer, turn them off, put them on, let them burn throughout the night. So we'll move these over. I wanted to see them with that. Oh, I thought there was another one. But I'm really glad these came and they were really cute. <laughs> um, I would buy probably two more of these or maybe um, two other sets even because I think if you group them together, it'd be really pretty on your mantle or if you had a little nook or a buffet or a side table. But if you only want two, perfect for just staging just like that and they do hold a larger candle as well these are a little slimmer which i chose on purpose because i have the larger ones and sometimes they don't always fit the candle holders but i like these for this so i feel like this is really pretty and glam it's giving me those crystal vibes and i wish it was at night so i could show you maybe i'll do a instagram reel of that <laughs> turn the light out mm -hmm. should i turn the light out oh that get better? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. We have a whole setup here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so let me see, what is up next? Oh, we're gonna keep candle holders out because I also curated this cool tray for you guys. How pretty is this? It's not metal, it's very lightweight, which is great. And what I love is the color. It's kind of a, like a bronzy gold, it's not a bright gold. So I feel like it go with any decor style. I tend to go a little bit brighter gold sometimes, but I love mixing metals all the time. This is the perfect size for an island. If you wanna do a little island styling, which I'm gonna share a little bit later. You can also put this on your coffee table. It's the perfect side for a sideboard. Um, you could put a platter on there and make it like a cheese tray, not on here. But, or you could put, you know, you could put parchment paper on here and that'd also be good. It's such a great price. Once again, love the color. I think it could be used indoors or outdoors. Probably wouldn't leave it in the direct heat, but if you took it outside for a little while with some cocktails with your friends, I like drinking. I'm gonna have to do a whole series on like a wine time. But um, I love a charcuterie board and a wine night. That would be fun. But great way to, once again, add a little hostess gift. Or a birthday gift. It's a cute little way to display them. Um, just these candles. Like this. I'm gonna leave it like that. You can add some greenery to there. Or if you just want your candlesticks, I like that. And we'll use the smaller ones here. Is that little crooked or is that me? You always get crooked stuff. <laughs> I always think everything's crooked. There we go. Cute, right? So it's a great little tray, cute little candle holders. I feel like these could be used so many different occasions, so many different purposes. And once again, this tray, I think you can use it outdoors. I just probably wouldn't leave it outdoors, but it could be placed in so many different places. And I really, really love the finish. And I like that it's not metal, so it's nice and lightweight. Any questions, anyone? Okay. So, I also, this is 
a new piece I curated for today's live. And I love it. I'm gonna actually bring it up closer to the camera. Sorry, it's super reflective. But it has like a little gold trim on here. And this is the perfect little floral base. It's a, it's a great size. I'm gonna fill it with a little water. It's shown with like one green stem, which I thought was like really super cute, but I didn't have a green stem to share with you guys. But what I did have, what I do have, are these beautiful flowers Steve gave me. So just like that, you can add one, you could fill it up and create a fuller bouquet, but it's a perfect little vase for just a few flowers or just like a simple little design. And um, I can already tell it's gonna be one of my new favorite bases. So if you click the link, you're gonna see some similar pieces like this and um, maybe I will show those next time. But I thought that was really super cute. Do a little tray styling. I'm gonna do these size. I can't see that, let's do a little higher. that push it to the end of your island and you're set and you turn them on and off did I say that again love it so once again really cute fun multi-purpose multi-purpose piece that you can bring in flowers from the garden or you can just have eucalyptus in it. I love it. I don't know if you can see the detailing on the side. We're gonna get a better camera for next time so we can get a little more close-up shot for this. But it has like a nice little swirl here. And if you wanted, you could add some crystals or some gems to the bottom if you really wanna fancy it up. And um, let's see what it looks like with two flowers in it. Kind of a side angle thing is happening that's really super cute that um, I see a lot. Maybe just the one, what do you guys think? One or two? I'm gonna say one. here and so new favorite base love it it's adorable it's worth the price very classic clean like I said you can just add greenery or you can add florals from your garden or from the store I always like shopping my backyard for fun stuff because we live in Arizona we don't have a lot of big blooms things that bloom or if we do it's not roses <laughs> In California, I used to have a rose garden. I really miss it. But um, faux florals or flesh flowers, whenever you can, spr sprinkle through your home is such a good idea. And I think like that base is really super cute. All right, so I have another base for you guys. You've seen a lot of these fun, I don't know if you have or haven't seen a lot of these fun DIYs. And this is like a really cute base that you can turn into a terrarium. You can also put flowers in it. You can put succulents in here. Um, I think goldfish, someone said. Um, put rocks at the bottom. A lot of cute ideas. I like the size of this. I feel like it's a really good size. And I picked this size because we're gonna do a fun little DIY live. So. We have our pretty base, perfect size, great shape. It's not shallow. It's a made well. I feel like it's sturdy. So nice little base. It's gonna be really cute with this DIY. If you like creating your own, 
DIYs, I came across this complete kit, which is so nice. <laughs> Operator error, you guys. <laughs> It comes with these great little floral cutters that Steve's gonna fix for me. Oh, where was it? Oh, we pinched it together. Cute. Um, you're gonna get some floral tape, which is great for like creating a grid method or wrapping your florals. What's a grid method? I'm gonna show it. What's... I seen on Instagram. <laughs> Um, it comes with this clear tape. So when I do the grid method, usually I use just tape. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Well, anyway, you peel it off and you place it here, 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 here in a grid. And then you put your fresh florals in it and it creates a nice bouquet. We're gonna do a faux floral arrangement, so I'm actually not going to be using this today. But what I love about this kit is for beginners who want to dabble in floral design or who want to create your own. It has all these different tapes. I mean, you can wrap your flowers, you can wrap your base, your um, flower stems together. These are really stuck together, which is good because that means it's sticky. try with me there we go lots of sticky fun pieces that you can use for all kinds of DIYs I'm gonna come up with something extra with this next time different <laughs> colors to wrap your florals with it comes with floral wire so I create a lot of bows especially in the holidays and this stuff is amazing and I like that it all comes together so you're not like piecing it together it's already here for you and then foam, which can be expensive sometimes. This is a really great price for this kit. And you could slice this up with a bread knife. <laughs> or they have they have certain different cutters, but I use a bread knife and it cuts your foam very nice. And then these are also just the little sticks, the little floral pins that you could put in here and then secure your florals to it. So you get a lot of value for this kit. I was actually quite impressed when I opened it as a DIYer. I'm like, I have a ton of tape. Always looking for tape, always scouring for it, always need extra wire for my bows. So it comes with that. And then do you pull it apart? Yeah, babe. It's operator error, guys. To help cut your stems. DIYs on Instagram and TikTok for flower arranging and this is really popular a lot of my influencer friends also share similar content on it and it's this Elmer's glue it's safe non-toxic and it does harden so we're gonna do a fun DIY with this this vase and I might need to get my heavy-duty pliers out <laughs> this is great if you're cutting fresh flowers that's what it's for it's not for it's not for um, faux flowers, fresh flowers. I need my fresh flowers. I gotta see how this works. I don't know if I'm selling you on this one, guys. <laughs> Everything in this kit is great. You might need to upgrade this part. But um, for a beginner, it's definitely gonna cut the wire. I'm like, I have a challenge now. Sorry, as a DIYer at heart, I need to know. I need to know before we move forward. Let's see. Perfect. 
Perfect. All right. I know I'm jumping back through the slides, guys, but you can flip it back over if you're ready to shop for this. the heavy duty ones. <laughs> this is not in the slide, but that's okay. I'll make sure it shows up in my Amazon store. So, who's ready to DIY? Okay, I am. <laughs> uh, these are some fun crystal gems. So we're going to put these at the bottom of our base and they actually come with quite a few pieces. They're really great price. I, I shop all over. I do a lot of shopping tours and I have to say Amazon's price is really good. Can you hear me now? We're going to put that at the bottom and set this aside. I'm not going to be using this for this. That's more for flesh fresh florals. Can I clean up my space for a second? You should see me when I'm shooting tutorials at home, the, the rack that's behind me. I do try and share some behind the scenes. So we have the glue. This is the glue. We have the cute little vase filled with the gems. Now, if you don't want to use the glue, you can still add the faux florals to these, and then that way you can repurpose your vase over and over again. But if you want something that's going to be substantial and that isn't going to move and that looks like something you buy at another store and this is how you're going to do it. Get your base, whatever size. I like the round. Round's really popular right now. Add your cute little gems into it and then I picked these really pretty ivory peonies. So I picked three bunches. I don't know if we're going to need them, all three, but I'm going to have my handy assistants in the back take about two inches off of those for me while I talk about it. So what I love about these flowers is they are like the real touch flowers and what you're going to do, Steve's cutting them for me, good job, is you're going to take these and fluff them up a little bit and give them some light. Throw it in. You're going to fluff them up a little bit. Here, I'll throw these back. <laughs> so, give them a little light. Get in there. Move them around. Don't be afraid to do that. These come in multiple colors. A little too short. It's okay. That's okay. <laughs> so you're gonna give these a little light. Shake them up. They're both florals for a reason. I saw this really cute trick. I was gonna do it, but um, we're out of time prepping. You can get a hair dryer and blow them out, and that also helps open them up a little bit. So that's going to make them look more natural, give them a little bit more of a real look, just enhance it. And plus when they wrap these, you know, they're wrapped to be shipped, so they tend to condense down a little bit. And so you really want to kind of play with them. I mean really play with them. Open them up a little bit. Makes them look more real. Let's see. I'm only thinking, let's see how many bunches. Taking this extra step is really gonna give you a better looking arrangement and um, more realistic. And also, they're wired stems. They're really cute. I love the color, I love the ivory. I love it, it's perfect for spring. 
I believe they also come in other colors. So once again, if you click on that slider button, shop through that, you can pick different colors. There's pink, and I think like a hot pink also. So let's first see. Oh, I need like 20 more gems in here. <laughs> DIY number one, measure your stems first. I do have another pack of gems, Stephen. Where are they? In the DIY closet. <laughs> Let's make this look really nice. You guys have been hanging on and listening to me ramble. I think we're only need two bouquets for this, which is really nice because then you could take this, maybe add some ribbon to it, lay it on a like console table or something, and place it to the side. You can take these apart, put them in little bud vases around your house. And then, so like I said, I picked three, I guess for this size vase and this amount of gems. One, cut the stems just a little bit. Maybe get two of the crystals to fill it up just a little, and then that's going to give you a nice full arrangement. As soon as my assistants come back, I'm going to show you the magic, and then we're going to style it in the Ziploc bag. Thank y'all. Like I said, I love these gems. These are a little bit different, but they're going to intermix fine. I'll be sure to add these to my Amazon store in case you're wondering. You know, what's cool about these gems also is they come in so many different colors. So you really can customize this to the color of your home. Let's see if that's gonna work. There we go. We want the stems to go in there just a little bit. Sorry you hear my dog in the back. She's like, I'm over your life, mom. <laughs> you have any dog lovers out there? We have a one and a half year old puppy. We still call her a puppy because she still is. So that's kind of how we're going to do it. Take them back out. And then this, I've never shown this live, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I don't get glue everywhere. I'm going to just pour it in. It does take a lot. But you know that designer look that you see in the stores? This is what you're gonna get. Because it's glue, don't stick your fingers in there. I'm gonna get bamboo skewer. See, it's really thick. I mean, if you really wanted to get into this, you could add glitter. You can mix up your color gems, do different sizes. So really the possibilities are endless. Almost done, Luna. Almost done, everyone. Thank you for hanging in there with me. This is my first live. I hope you enjoyed it. You don't want to overdo this or you're going to get bubbles. Oh, and don't scrape the edge. And don't scrape the edge. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add our bushels in there. Like that. Like that. Look, are they in there? We we'll make sure they're nice in the glue. And then this is gonna, oh my goodness, I don't like that. Sorry, the perfectionist in me, guys. There you go. There I go. I want to see the stems like intermix a little. Yeah, look at that. Can you guys see that? I'm going to bring it up to the camera. Sorry if the ring light is shining on it, but I really want you to get a good view of that. <gasps> Beautiful. Thank you in the crowd. <laughs> Thank you in the crowd. It's beautiful, right, though? Like, you can get these in multiple colors. Like I said, go back to the slider tab, get the little, their peonies. They come in pink and hot pink. 
Okay, I can't remember the other colors, but I'm, I'm sure other colors. And then once again, this base is the perfect size. Let's do a little kitchen island styling. So we're gonna bring back our tray. Add our faux florals. Bring in your pretty new candlesticks. taller candles like this and create a cute little vignette just like that so I hope you guys enjoyed my live today I hope you love this kimono as much as I do <laughs> if you really want some comfy like maxi dresses with pockets go back click on the slider comes in multiple colors for both and um, be sure to hit that follow button. I'm going to be hosting lives twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. I'm going to curate new pieces for you. Luckily in my home I have a ton of Amazon products already so I just purchased a few of these for fun because I've been eyeing them for a long time and they totally go in my style and I really wanted to also share how to do this DIY live. It's so simple. And like I said, once again, multiple colors, multiple color gems, great price. These candlesticks, love that they're on a timer. You can set them and forget them. You don't have to worry about it. Blog post? <laughs> oh, I do have a blog. <laughs> I have a blog, but you know, come back for more live DIYs. <laughs> this is where I'm going to be at twice a week, every Monday and every Thursday, curating fun pieces for you. Please let me know what you guys would like to see next. I can do living room styling. I do have a pantry that I redid with almost everything Amazon. And I'm going to be sharing on my Instagram and I'd love to share you guys close up and in person on the next slide. We can maybe do the refrigerator also. It's something I need to get done. Show you some of my favorite pieces on that. I have some in there, but it's a mess. So we're not going to do that today. We do that next time. But put in the chat box what you would like to see because I want to show you guys what you like to see, not just what I like. So if maybe floral arrangements and candles aren't your thing, but organizational items, cleaning items, decorating your living room if you want a new rug, ottoman. I've got it all from Amazon, so you just let me know and I'll show up and show it all. Thank you for joining today's live. Hit that follow button, follow me on Instagram, and remember, if you've seen this on replay, just go back down to the link on the bottom. Make sure you tap that, shop through the link. You can get a lot of these in multiple colors and um, that way I get credit so I can keep doing this. Thank you guys.